In this recording, we shall look at how to solve a particular type of transposition problem involving exponents. So transposition of a formula is when we rearrange the formula to make a particular quantity the subject. And suppose we wanted to make t the subject of this expression. t is occurring in the exponent and we have both positive and negative powers of t. So how do we rearrange such an expression to isolate t as the subject? And the first thing to notice is that we have one expression involving t divided by another expression involving t. So if we want to get t on its own, the first step in a case like this is to cancel that denominator from the right hand side as that will then make it simpler to manipulate. That is, we want to multiply both sides by c e to the t plus d e to the negative t. And doing that will give us y times c e to the t plus d e to the negative t. And as I said, multiplying by that will cancel it from the right so that the right hand side then becomes a e to the t plus b e to the negative t. So that looks a little bit better, but we have t trapped inside brackets here on the left now. So the next logical step is to expand out those brackets. That will give us y times c e to the t plus y d e to the negative t equal to a e to the t plus b e to the negative t. What next? Well, we have e to the positive t, e to the negative t. There's actually a few ways we could proceed from here, but probably the clearest way is to rearrange it so that on the left hand side, let's say, we have all e to the t terms, and on the right hand side, we have all e to the negative t terms. And this could be done, for instance, by subtracting a e to the t from both sides, which will cancel it from the right hand side, and on the left give us y c e to the t minus a e to the t, and we could then subtract y d e to the negative t from both sides, which on the right hand side would then give us b e to the negative t minus y d e to the negative t. And we want to eventually reduce this down to a single t equals expression. So the less terms we have with t, the better, and since both the terms on the left are multiplied by e to the t, we could take that out as a common factor, giving e to the t times y c minus a. And doing the same thing on the right, taking e to the negative t out as a common factor, we get e to the negative t times b minus y d. So that's good. We've reduced the number of terms involving t from 4 down to 2 by taking those common factors out. But how do we reduce it down still further to just one term with t in it? And it might help if we think about what e to the negative t actually looks like. And e to the negative t is just the same as 1 divided by e to the t. So on the right we have 1 divided by e to the t times b minus y d. And now we can see that we could cancel that from the right hand side of this equation by multiplying both sides by e to the t, which on the left will then give us e to the t times e to the t y c minus a, and on the right will just leave us with b minus y d. And index laws say that e to the x times e to the y is just e to the x plus y. So e to the t times e to the t is just e to the t plus t, which is e to the 2t. So we have e to the 2t times yc minus a equals b minus yd. So that's good. We've reduced it down to a single term involving t. The next good thing would be to get this yc minus a cancelled from the left. So since e to the 2t is multiplied by yc minus a, let's divide by yc minus a on both sides, which will give us e to the 2t equals b minus yd divided by yc minus a. So 
Now we simply need to work out how do we get this 2t out of the power, out of the exponent. And we have e to the 2t. And the inverse of e, or of the exponential function, is log base e, or the ln function in other words. So taking natural logs or logs base e of both sides, we get ln of e to the 2t equals ln of b minus yd divided by yc minus a. And the natural log function tells us the power that we need to raise e to in order to get the bracketed expression. So ln of e to the 2t tells us the number we need to raise e to in order to get e to the 2t. Clearly that's just 2t. So therefore we now know then that 2t is going to be ln of b minus yd divided by yc minus a. And since we want to find t, now all that remains to be done is to divide both sides by 2. And therefore t is just going to be a half ln b minus yd divided by yc minus a. So this is an example to demonstrate how we can do transposition in a case when we have both positive and negative powers of t in the original expression.